first episode of the day and you can tell on this one we got the production value of this video all the way up <laughs> okay the internet detective the internet chat detective to be particular is out here and why is this camera off my thingy and okay it is fixed the first episode of the day and so i gotta put it down episode number one Please do watch this video all the way through. You like this video, do give it a like. Man, them is out here. I didn't give you the cut. Go and let's get this going. And so we are talking about Sangomas who are out here now fighting each other, which kind of brings up the subject of this case. You can tell we've been out here looking at things, top classified information and the whole nine yards. Some parts of this can show you okay top secret stuff that is going on here some of these things appear questionable some of them unclear but so on all these classified documents that i'm showing you here classified documents <laughs> we are going to deal with this particular article right here and this is what it particularly puts out it says that coco Maweni has uncovered witchcraft on her roof of her house okay she says on an instagram post uh, she's having knee problems after this particular entire watches or entire witching of a thing that has actually happened to her very lately according to that particular and she says while she goes to sleep, she, she experiences some form of sleep paralysis uh, and she's seeing demons coming to her to attack her. Now, this is where for us, we start to try and kind of come to what is it that people are dealing with when they deal with uh, this whole thing of ancestors and all that kind of hajjahs, which they do not want to deal with. Uh, there is another particular video that I want to review later on, which talks about good spirits and bad spirits and then there is another particular separate video so this is going to be a small little bit of a series i might do it in two three days spacing uh, but this particular videos i want you to follow these videos first here we are hearing that she is being attacked by other people that possess some form of giftings or whatever and so what is it that the question that they are not answering is that spirits as a whole are not a subject of interest for us okay that's the first thing particularly i'm going to give you this particular verses over here and i'm going to give you also this particular verses here because we do not uh, particularly know whom we are interacting with on the other side we are told to just stay off she then comes to a particular point which i think we need to address here a little bit she says she she went to cleanse her space okay cleanse the space you will remember the bible does speak about uh, angels or demonic figures which are in uh, in in charge of the air and stuff like that and so she says she went to cleanse her space and even went to her late uh, grandmother's grave as uh, as shown in her dreams as a way to solve this particular thing now no way in the bible does it tell us to do anything to cleansing an environment or anything like that but hey let everybody believe what they want people are interacting with things that they do not know but not only that, do they not acknowledge that some of these gifts that they claim are from the ancestors probably are not from the ancestors? What is this thing of cleansing your space? It's not only you that needs cleansing, it's also the space that needs cleansing. Now, which is what uh, Christ is here to do. He says, apart from him being the one that we should listen to in Hebrews chapter number one, no other message should we listen to which does not direct to him and this particular message of cleansing an environment you cleanse what that's what you had to do in the old testament of things but then within the new testament's perspective of what christ has done is that the environment doesn't need cleansing okay mm -mm. it is you that needs washing you need washing particularly no. there are spirits that are also defiled what's to say that you are not interacting with the defiled spirits What's to say that? People are just out there in the guessing space. The second video that I want to review on this particular subject of people interacting with supposed ancestors that they, you have ancestors, definitely people that have passed away and all the whole nine years, but interacting with them is a completely different subject. So on the second subject, I'm going to deal with a particular an African spiritual advisor, a person who teaches this entire thing. I'm going to do a review of a particular video that I found probably tomorrow. So do subscribe if it's your first time and that video will be on the channel. If you're watching this after the second day of the upload, so check that when this video was uploaded, that video is already online and then after that video i will then go into how then do they uh, 
manipulate the spiritual into the physical uh, by creating mm. their own version of creatures which they might call togoloshi whatnot yeah they can actually create those things and which i found very weird but that's going to be the third episode of this particular series on this one the strange part is that the spirits they are interacting with they do not even notice that these are the same right the spirits are the same it's just that you might say they are good ones and they are bad ones whichever ones you are interacting with these are forbidden for us to have any particular interactions with as a matter of fact when you go into the samuel situation that's when you actually get to see that you might be dealing with very dangerous spirits you're not invoking that particular individual it says uh, it is appointed for men to live once and after that is the judgment. Notice that the verse says it is appointed, meaning God has set it and you cannot change it. So the question is, therefore, when these people are out there interacting with all the spirits that they are doing and they are claiming that these are their ancestors supposedly sent by God, who's, who has changed the calendar? The calendar has already put it out that it is appointed, meaning it is set, you cannot change, and you cannot have your way around it. But the second episode will deal with the identity aspect of all these things, and we'll take it further from there. So actually, we we'll do daily Christian commentary videos, and I will see you on the other episodes. Please do give this video a like, <laughs> a hustle to set up for, but I'm absolutely enjoying the creation of these videos, which is what I kind of like to do. So like if you do subscribe if you do and i'll see you on a later on yeah be good other videos down today they'll be down in the pinned comments so i better get this slate ready to do episode two so see you there